you know, most people today perceive popular asana practices as yoga and esoteric practices including sexual and power practices as Tantra. You may wonder what's the value of these practices. So no matter who you are, if you are seeking to reduce suffering and increase more joy and satisfaction in your life, then these practices are for you. You may or may not be seeking God, but I believe we all are seeking good health, great relationship and overall well-being. Namaste. Welcome to Vishwa Yoga. My name is Vishwa. Today I will talk about the practical stuff. Yes, I will talk about the practices which I love to share and offer to interested individuals. The practices I share are based on my personal experience, which I learned from different teachers and masters and have practiced and taught over many years. Let me be clear. If you don't have suffering in your life or you think there are better methods or paths out there, then these practices are not for you. The foundation of Tantra and Yoga is based on Sankhya philosophy and Sankhya is based on reasoning, observation and logic. No blind faith is required. And once you have your personal experience through these practices, that itself becomes self-evident and your truth. So if you want to reduce suffering and increase joy and happiness, you want a healthy, harmonious life from inside out on physical, mental, emotional, sexual and spiritual levels, then these practices are for you. Remember, when you are fulfilled, you are happy, you will be bound to share that happiness and joy with your loved ones, your friends and family members. You know, one of the Yoga Sutra says, Heyam Dukham Anagatam, which means the pain that is yet to come can be avoided. We all go through pain and suffering. The pain is hard to avoid, but the suffering we can. As per yoga tradition, all kinds of suffering can be divided into two types, internal and external. Internal, which comes from our body, our mind, and external, which comes from living beings especially from individuals around us, our relationship we have, and others from nature or environment. Some we can control, some we cannot. So unless you are a Siddha, our body will follow the law of nature and sufferings or issues will come in life. But if you practice diligently, some of the issues will almost disappear and some will start to bother you less. You may wonder how. Because you will start to respond to them differently. A change will set in from the inside out. Let me share very briefly about myself without going into a long story. I started on this yogic path as a teenager with curious questions. One day, I put this to a test to see if it can help me with an issue I was going through at that point of time. And to my surprise, it worked. And from that day onwards, it became part of my daily life. Later, I learned and practiced through various teachers and also studies major scriptural texts and their applications. Initially, I had no plan to teach and was just happy doing my practice. But about 15 years ago, I had to face one of the biggest pain and challenges in my personal life. 
which affected my well-being at every level. My daily practice, which I had received from a teacher uh, just a few years ago before that event, and that was not helping me. Neither modern or ancient medicines was able to help me. For more than 18 months, I started to think every day, why me? What I have done wrong to go through this suffering? And then the Supreme sent me to another teacher who guided me to adjust my practices. Thanks to the divine intervention in the form of that teacher who helped me to modify and adjust my practices. That healed me without any medication within six weeks. Once I recovered, a deep desire started to dawn within me as how to share these practices to help others. So I formally took teacher's training and started to share and teach. Today, when I hear experiences from my students as to how it has help them and when I see them their smile from within it gives me immense pleasure and inner satisfaction at the core our soul is longing for happiness though the definition of happiness may vary from each individual based on their unique desire as the Brihad Aranyak Upanishad says you are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. So if you are not healthy, it will be difficult to be happy and enjoy any other fulfilled desire. And if you are not happy, or not at peace from the inside nothing else really matters it does not matter how great you might look from the outside how much money or wealth you may have you cannot enjoy your material wealth or possessions rather you may feel some kind of sadness pain or suffering something missing in your life and that is suffering. So I would like to share those tools and techniques which you can use in your daily life to make it thrive. You must be wondering what are those tools I'm going to offer here? No, I do not have the tools to make you super rich, super healthy or super sexy overnight. But I must say this, if you follow these practices, you will feel richer, healthier, and sexier every day from within than the majority of people who are just showing off. If you remember, I talked about tantric practices in one of the videos. Yogic practices are like a thread that connects all those practices as per text Tantra yoga practices comprise four major branches of yoga Mantra, Hat, Le, and Raj Yoga. Almost on each path, there are right hand and left hand path practices, including esoteric ones. They can be either sattvic, rajasic, or tamasic in nature. By the way, some people may have this notion that all right hand path practices are sattvic which is not true even using a right hand path one can do a tamasic practice but my practices mostly use sattvic and rajasic approaches either using a right hand path or left hand path the goal of all practices is moving towards the sattvic state now let me quickly tell you about these major branches. Mantra Yoga is the foundation of Tantra. This is the path of Mantra and or Vidya Marg. For most Tantra practitioners, this path is sufficient. Some Mantra practices do not require initiation. 
you can do it by yourself following the set of rules or guidelines however if you want to excel and progress faster it is recommended that you must take proper initiation and guidance from a qualified teacher now here are some of the major components of mantra yoga maybe later i will share some common mantra yoga practices which you can do on your own without initiation on the other hand both hatha yoga and laya yoga are part of kula mark which also uses mantra i assume you already know about raj yoga hatha yoga acts as the foundation for laya and raj yoga including some popular branches such as kundalini yoga and kriya yoga hatha yoga starts from the body and then shapes the breath to cultivate the prana by activating the energetic pathways or nadi to shape the mind the final goal is to go beyond the mind to experience the highest state resulting in self realization or also called atma sakshatkar besides the formal limbs these branches use some common components which you may be familiar with so similar practices club together for the same goal are categorized under a unique branch here is a list of branches some may look familiar to you and are used as the brand name for the marketing especially in the west so please be mindful of brand name versus actual yoga practice some of these branches are more directly connected to one of the branch but are also used in others based on the nature of the practice i will point out a few branches such as swara yoga which has a great emphasis on breath and pranayam but swara yoga is much more than pranayam yoga nidra is also known as yogic sleep but its benefits go much deeper than a regular sleep and lastly about lata sadhana or paryang yoga this yoga is not widely known or popular under this name but it may be easier for you if i say bedroom yoga love yoga or tantric sex these practices are great for sexual well-being healing nurturing and having pleasure in your intimate relationship and then you go beyond from them today especially in the west yoga has become synonymous with physical posture or asana practices with various brand names and tantra has become synonymous with sexual practices only but i am here to offer you much more than these popular practices i have divided it into four progressive levels for example preparation beginners intermediate and advanced on a high level yogic practices have two different orientations one through the conscious mind or using psychological functions and another one is on the subconscious mind by using the energy and physiological functions in simple words one focuses on knowledge and the other on power and you know knowledge without power is not effective or useless and power without knowledge is very very dangerous so it is important to have a balance like the union of shiv and shakti if you are dropping in my public classes either online or in person they are similar to a popular yoga class with a specific approach or a theme but the deeper and subtle practices i only offer to those who are genuinely interested and want to practice either through a specific events or workshops or through private semi private or in a group session 
some of you desire that I share some of the practices online. So here I am. I will share those which can be safe and appropriate for online uses. The online platform has its pros and cons. All of you know. Many times people ask me to teach them intermediate and advanced techniques, but they do not share or demonstrate what they already know or practice. Some just want to know it intellectually, but do not practice. I know as a student, there is a desire to know everything now. But as a teacher, it is my responsibility to know and evaluate a student before teaching certain techniques. I hope you understand its importance. So in my upcoming video, I will start sharing the practices in stages so that it will be easier for you to go step by step. So thank you for watching this video and I hope those practices will be useful and helpful in your daily life. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you so much for listening. If you like the information, please subscribe, like and share so that everyone else can also enjoy this. Ooh.